Hey everybody, Dave Akers here again with more Adventures of a VIP. I wanted to give you a little update. I know I've uh, been slacking a bit on putting some videos out, but it's been really busy here. I've been really hectic on uh, in my training program. And we're winding down. I've got two weeks to go. Two weeks to go. And then I will graduate and then head back home. But I wanted to give you a little update, as I said I would, about the different assistive devices and technology that the folks here have been teaching. So uh, in order to do that, I need to give you a little background on exactly what my eye conditions are. And that is I have macular degeneration or MACD as we call it in, in this world. And then also in both eyes, along with the MACD, I have what is called angioid streaks. Now, real quick, the MACD is deterioration of your retina. So you start losing the central vision, becomes blurry and goes, around, goes away because the macula is the center point of your vision. And the android streaks is the deterioration or dying of the Brooks membrane in your eye, which is the membrane that your eye is made up. Of. So those two together really create an interesting uh, vision for myself. Uh, I have a lot of friends here that I've met that have different situations, but uh, we all relate to the same thing. Uh, the interesting part of it, I should say, is what makes it more difficult for me is that each eye is progressing at a different rate. So I see better out of my right eye than I do my left eye. And when I go to see something, uh, it's all a blur without any assistive devices as I'm looking at my camera right now. Uh, then on top of that, if I go to read something, the lines are all jacked up. One's a little above the other and uh, it's just all really complicated. So I sat down with all my team instructors and especially the low vision part and they say well what do you want to do and I said well you know I have a very difficult time uh, maintaining the uh, home environment as far as keeping up on the stuff around the house the general repairs of the house and everything because I have a difficult time seeing uh, especially if it's in the dark or darker so uh, that's one thing I want to do. When they said, well, do you play cards? Do you play board games or whatever? And I said, yeah, actually I do really enjoy it, but now it's more difficult because everything's just a blur and I have to depend upon my friends to tell me what's going on and uh, it becomes a big pain in the butt. Uh, okay. Uh, what about watching TV? Well, you know, there's times that I like to watch my shows on TV and uh, I sat there and I'm watching and uh, the difficult part is I can't read the subtitles. Uh, things aren't as crisp as they used to be. So I'm having to ask Audra if she's around, hey, what did that subtitle say? Or, hey, what did this say? Well, yeah, we've got some assistive devices for that too. Okay, um, what about reading? What about reading? You get your mail. Uh, are you having a difficult time reading the mail? Yeah, I'm having a difficult time, but Audra's not having a hard time. Uh, hey, Audra, I can't read this. So, uh, okay, we've got some fixes for that too. Now, let me preface what I'm going to show you with uh, none of these assistive devices are designed to put you into a style show or a beauty pageant. So keep that in mind. And keep your laughs to yourself, but feel free to share them. I laugh at our, we, we laugh at ourselves down here, so it's not a big deal. Uh, anyway, when you are visually impaired, anything that can assist you in seeing things a little clearer, uh, seeing things a little crisper, is something that is really amazing, and we really don't care what we look like if we can get that done. So let's start out. I'm going to go as I explained everything. So we're going to go with home repair. 
Well, if I had something going on and I had a hard time getting in to uh, see the screw or the darkness and everything, uh, just a whole bunch of different things. But this tool, this first tool I'm going to show you, can be used for a lot of different things that really helps you. And it is called the Mega View. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so that you can see everything. And what the Mega View is, is this. It is a headband that you can put around so your hands free. And the front up here is where we can insert different magnification lenses that will help us read things. Now, believe it or not, just sitting right here with this magnification lens in, I can clearly see myself in my own camera and geez i feel sorry for you guys i apologize i didn't know i was having such a bad hair day and stuff but anyway this really clears a lot of things up i can get in and i can do work and what really helps is it has these really bright lights which i'll adjust so you can see here and us visually impaired folks light really helps and i can adjust this light and when i'm done and need to walk around so i don't trip i can put the lens back up and off i go this will be a a really good time saver and a great asset when i get back home so moving along in order as i spoke uh, do I play board games? Do I play cards? Well, yeah, I go over to some good friends of ours and we have a little game night and uh, we have some play some Farkle. If you don't know what Farkle is, it's a dice game and uh, it's hard to see the normal size dice and see the, the pips on them and the, that's the dots on them. So uh, playing cards, we like to play Euchre and, and 500 Rummy, things like that. So, well, Things are blurry. You know, I had a, an older set of glasses that kind of helped me get along and everything, but everything was still a blur, and it's like, hey, what, what is that? So anyway, the next tool or assistive device, I should say, that has been provided to me is called the Max Detail Glasses. Now, remember, I told you that each eye is different, so this is where this comes in to play. Sorry. So, max detail glasses. As you can see from a side view, they have a magnification view and everything. But the beauty of this is each, on each eye up here where my hands are, there are little wheels. And you can individually focus each eye. So when you go to put them on and you're getting ready to play cards or whatever, sit down at the table, look in the middle, close one eye, focus the other one, then switch, close the right eye and focus the other one. And then voila, you can see and you can play clearly and you don't have to bug your people that you're playing with and say, hey, what is that? Is it a three of diamonds or is that an eight of diamonds or what? You can now see it. These are wonderful, can't wait. And they can also be used in different things. These work up to, you know, if you're sitting in a chair, imagine playing cards at a kitchen table or whatever. Uh, they work for uh, quite a bit of distance and help out. So great device. Next is, okay, do you watch TV? Yep, I enjoy some of my TV shows and everything. And again, Audra's getting a little tired of Yes, I, I can read the subtitles. It says this, it says that. Uh, and I, she doesn't say it in that manner, but I want to be independent. I want to, you know, depend on people. So the next set of uh, assistive devices is called, they look very similar to the other ones. These are called Max TV. Again, side view. And you'll notice there's a little more distance in between. <coughs> Excuse me. So, same thing applies when you're sitting in your easy chair, or I will be sitting in my easy chair in, in the evening. I can sit down, close one eye, focus, 
the other one, close switch and focus. And now I can clearly see the faces and I can see what they look like and I can read the subtitles. It's amazing. Great tools. So reading, reading books, reading the mail, uh, reading recipes, things like that. Uh, <clears throat> so you get a piece of mail and I'll, I'll show you this that, you know, you normal, this is probably about the size text that would come in a, a mail or <clears throat> in a bill or something like that. Well, I can't read it. I look at it. No, no, can't read it. Can't make it out. So who do I call for? Audra, can you, what does this say? So now these are called prism glasses. And again, not stylish, but I can take these glasses and now I can take my mail and I can clearly see it, clearly read it. And this will also help when I go out to what I was using, by the way, is my Braille study card, just so you can see it. The other thing <clears throat> that I could use these for, going out to eat, going to a restaurant, uh, looking at the menu. I don't have to ask Audra, okay, what does, what's on the menu? And she has to sit there and read it and everything. Uh, even though I know she doesn't care to help me out, I want to be independent. I want to get my independence back. And this is going to allow me to do that. Uh, these glasses also are very good for using my phone because I can clearly see the different uh, icons on the phone. I don't have to enlarge them. If I'm texting or whatever, I can clearly see the text and I can read them. So magnificent. Everything is great. So one other device that I'll show you, and then uh, we'll cut this video off. Uh, but I do appreciate all of you who watch it and everything. So going out on mobility, uh, when we've been doing mobility training, we've been downtown uh, learning how to cross the streets and learning how to use your ears and listen for the noises and everything. Because as your vision goes, and uh, it it does. Now, luckily, I have a little bit of, of vision and it helps me out, but there's still things that I can't see. So I need that. But you come up to a street corner and you can't really read the street signs. So how do you know where you are? Well, one of the cool things is this is called a monocular. It's just a single focusing tool that when I get to a street corner, I can take this and I can focus and clearly read street signs. I can read uh, signs in the grocery store. You know how when you go in a grocery store and you say, oh, wonder what, what aisle is the sugar in? And they have those big menu looking signs that are placed variously over the, from the ceilings and everything. And I look up and I just see a bunch of blur well, now I can take this device and I can focus in and I can find it and I can read it. Also for other events, uh, going to a museum or going to a golf tournament. For instance, yesterday they took us to the, uh, I forget what the name of it was, but it was a golf tournament and it was the senior tour or the champions tour. So got to see all my favorite golfers or at least some of them for the short time we were there. But I was able to take this device and focus on the guys as they're on the tee box or on the green putting or whatever. Fabulous, fabulous tools. I can see it clearly when I focus and it's a blur. Yes, I'm only using one eye, but my right eye is my best and it's good enough for me. So that in a nutshell, I know that wasn't a nutshell, that was a long movie or a long video. And, uh, but I wanted to give you an update, told you I would. And remember, uh, two weeks to go. Right now it is Sunday, uh, March 3rd, and uh, two weeks to go. The great part is that next or week after this coming on the 12th, my beautiful wife will be flying down here. The VA is going to bring her down, 
and she's going to spend uh, Wednesday and Thursday doing family training and learning everything that I have gone through, or at least being uh, briefed on the things that I've gone through. And then on the 14th, I will graduate, and the 15th, we'll fly back home. So, really excited, really looking forward to it. Going to miss my friends, but I'll give you more uh, of an update as we get closer uh, with things that are going on. So, again, Dave Akers, thanks for watching uh, Adventures of a VIP.